some alt reality games here. I'm going to review and open up the newest product to hit the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG market in the form of Gold Series 4. Uh, Gold Series 4 here comes out about every year. Uh, it has a lot of great reprints in it and also brings you Gold Rare cards, obviously. So you can get some exciting and very popular cards in the new Gold Rare form, the, the, new, the new rarity. Um, in this video, we're going to open up uh, one box of this, which is five packs, and uh, give away the contents through our Facebook page, so make sure you follow us on there. And uh, you're going to notice right away that the packaging is a little bit different. The reason for that is because every pack Gold Series now comes with an exclusive playmat. There are three different kinds of playmats, two that you can get from anywhere that you buy Gold Series. The third one is exclusive to hobby stores such as ourselves, so it gives you a good incentive to come and purchase one of these from your local hobby shop, so you might get the exclusive playmat. Uh, Without further ado, we're going to open this up, take a look at what we get within the five packs here, and give it away to you guys. Alright guys, we're going to open up a box of Gold Series 4 here, and like I said, we're going to give away the contents to our fans out there. So uh, I opened this up already with a box cutter to save camera time. Uh, you get five packs in one box, and like I said, you get a, you get a bunch of new stuff this time around. You get the play mats, which is the main thing. And uh, they're in a pyramid form this time. Kind of cool, actually. So uh, without further ado, let's open this first one here out of the five. All right, so you get a nice playmat, actually. It's all sealed for you. This one, I got the Yugi playmat. And yes, we will be giving away the playmats as well. And they come sealed, obviously, nice. So you'll like that. As for the cards, though, let's see what we get here. You get 22 commons and three gold cards per pack here. All right, so our first pack is going to be Gladiator Beast Guy Zeris, a Titanium, and a Chaos Sorcerer for the Gold Raiders. Very solid. The commons are a DDV Pendulum. Machine, Sword of Dark Rites, Versago, and you guys know the commons by now, so I'm just going to flip through these real quick. You do get a lot of solid commons this time around, obviously. Uh, Japanese art of the Millennium Shield. A lot of these were previously just McDonald's cards, uh, and oh, Japanese art Tomb World, which is pretty nice. Uh, a lot of these were previously hard to get, like secret rares or McDonald's promos, or old uh, turtle packs slash champion packs from back in the day. If you guys remember that, the tournament packs. Uh, all right, the second one here. And this one we'll get. I got box clearly just in case. This one we get the Kaiba playmat. And these are high quality playmats like you would get in the regionals, just a little bit smaller, and they all come sealed. Pack two is Celestia, another Geyserus, and a Gravekeeper Spy. And all the comments for you to take a look at real quick. Kind of nice to see some of those commons as reprints because they were hard to get before. Pack three. Figure out the system opening these. Will be the Yugi mat again. Ooh. All right, we have Summer Monk, Five-Headed Dragon, and Black Luster Soldier. Now, a lot of people are questioning as to why Black Luster Soldier was in the Gold Series, considering it's banned, and it's been banned for a long time. Uh, th my opinion on that, we all know about how the priority rule was changed in Japan, and it's possibly going to hit America here. So if that does become true, Black Luster would lose his priority ruling, and therefore make him a little more of a balanced card. So who knows if... 
if that is the reason they put him in here or not. Speculation. Trash out of here. All right, pack four. We get a Yugi mat. And the pack. Packaging is very cool this year. Our gold rares are Summoner Monk, a Raikou, and a Morphing Jar. A Morphing Jar does look very slick. A lot of people are going to want that. And as you notice, the commons are very solid no matter what the pack. It seems like you're getting a DDV or two a pack. You get a Lily, all the fusion substitutes. So every pack is pretty solid. And then the final pack of our box. Is a Kaiba mat. And then the uh, pack here. So, for those of you who don't have play mats, you know you haven't won them at a regional or whatnot, this gives you a chance to have a high quality play mat as well, obviously. Final pack we got a Toon Table of Contents is the Gold Rare. And Obelisk the Tormentor, his effect version, which is legal. And a Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper is a very great uh, card. I'm glad to see that it became a gold rare, along with Morphing Jar, a uh, Chaos Sorcerer previously available in its Turbo Pack form of an ultra rare, but now you get it as a gold rare, so it looks very similar. All right, guys, don't forget that, like I mentioned, we will be giving away these cards on our Facebook page. So, or, or uh, you know, our forums. We do have forums. Make sure you check that out. I'm going to have that in the description box down there for you. Um, I hope that everyone enjoys these cards. Uh, a lot of great reprints in here, like I said. Uh, some that were overdue. And you get alternate versions of ones that were never released before. So you can order these as packs, boxes, or singles through our website. So make sure you check that out as well. And uh, this is Nick Curtis signing off for all Alter Reality Games, guys. Play hard or go home.